Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be going over the fish eye effect here in Final Cut Pro. If you are a new viewer, welcome. Hopefully by the end of the video you will learn something and you will consider subscribing to the channel because we will have a lot of content coming soon that will help you out here in Final Cut Pro. Now let's get right into the video. Okay, so we have our clip here. And what we're going to do here is we are going to go to the effects tab right here. And we are going to go type in, first you want to click on all and then you're going to type in fish eye. Once you do that, click on it and drag it on the clip. And as you can see, we have some fish eye effect going on here. So um let's play this clip as you can see that's kind of too much fish eye so we can make some adjustments here in the inspector panel so what i'm going to do is i'm going to decrease this a bit i'm going to move the center of the radius right by his nose put the radius down just a bit i'm going to play this back that looks a bit better and we can also make adjustments with the keyframes as well you can click on all three you can click on one if you want what I'm gonna do here is put my playhead up in the timeline a bit and I'm going to drag the center over a bit and I'm gonna increase the radius a bit and turn down the amount. Now, when we go back to the beginning of our timeline and play it back, you're gonna see a animation start to happen. You could barely see that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna exaggerate it even more let's put the radius up let's put it down about right here let's put the amount right here okay now when we play this back we're gonna see an animation that's a lot more animated just like that so there's a lot of things that you can do with the fish eye effect, I'm gonna reset these parameters for the fish eye effect. And I'm gonna show you one more way to get a really cool look. And the link for this is in the description below. But once you download this, it will be in your B3 Studios plugins file right here this little section right here and it's the security cam this along with the fisheye effect is a really great effect so I just drag that on to my clip and if you don't want a gray and white you can uncheck this halftone right here and what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna boost this radius up right here and it's kind of like an isolated sphere with a black background. And um, you can make all sorts of adjustments. Make the center go this way. It's kind of like a, a, a ball. But this is an awesome effect. As you can see, you can add keyframes right here. So what I'm going to do here it's going to add a keyframe to the beginning of the timeline. And as this goes on, probably like a little bit more than half of the way to the timeline, I'm going to bring the X axis over here. And now let's see how this looks when we play it back.
That looks awesome right here. And like I said, there's a lot of things that you can do to make these effects go together and just you can be a, very creative with these effects um you just have to go around with it and tweak it but um you can do that on your own i appreciate you guys tuning in to this tutorial if you have any questions comment down below um, I appreciate you guys tuning in, and I will see you next time. All right, thank you.